Hey, it's Mark LaCour. Let's learn something new about the oil and gas industry. I often get asked about horizontal fracking. What most people don't understand is horizontal fracking is a combination of two technologies. The ability to drill a well shaft horizontally, which is relatively new, and fracking the rock, which is actually a 1940s technology invented by Shell. So I'm getting ready to show you a quick high-level overview of what horizontal fracking actually is. All right, in the old days when they wanted to develop a field, what they would do is build multiple well sites on the surface and drill multiple vertical shafts into the oil bearing shell in between the rock layers. This made for quite an ugly installation, but it worked, although it was not the most efficient way to get the oil out of the shell. Fast forward to today in horizontal fracking and they build one well site on the surface and they drill one vertical shaft, but then they drill horizontal shafts and they frack the rock. This is more productive than the old way and it looks much better. Well hopefully it helped you understand better what horizontal fracking is. Stay tuned, right after this I have a longer more detailed video that will help you understand it at a much deeper level. <laughs> Hydraulic fracturing has provided safe extraction of oil and natural gas from underground shale formations for more than 60 years. The technology continues to improve, increasing access to abundant energy sources while limiting environmental impact. Take a look at the process today in underground shale formations. The initial well bore is drilled using a drill pipe and bit. Drilling mud is pumped down through the drill pipe to cool and lubricate the drill bit. Mud also helps stabilize the well bore and carry the rock fragment cuttings to the surface. The drilling continues well past the aquifer or groundwater level. Thousands of feet of rock separate shale reserves from the lowest groundwater reservoir. At this point, the drill pipe and bit are removed and a steel tube called surface casing is set inside the well. The tube stabilizes the well sides, creating a protective barrier for both the well stream and any underground freshwater reservoirs. Cement is then pumped into the well through and out the casing, displacing any remaining drilling fluids and permanently securing the casing in place. By filling the gap between the casing and well bore, the cement creates a seal protecting groundwater from contamination and keeping outside materials from entering the well flow. Once the first layer of casing is in place, it is pressure tested to ensure hydrocarbons and other fluids do not seep out into the formation as they are brought to the surface. The pipe and drill bit are lowered back into the well where the drilling continues. Another layer of casing and cementing is then constructed to create a second permanent protective barrier. Multiple layers of casing and cementing are critical to safe well construction and drinking water protection. About 500 feet above the hydrocarbon bearing shale formation, a specific downhole drilling motor with sophisticated measuring instruments begins the angle drilling to create a horizontal path to penetrate the targeted layer of gas or oil bearing shale. Once the desired horizontal distance is reached, the casing and cementing process continues through the entire length of the well bore. A perforating tool is then inserted into the well, creating holes in the shale layer, allowing hydrocarbons to enter the well stream. When the perforating tool is removed, fracturing fluid, made of mostly water and sand, is pumped into the well, opening tiny fractures deep into the shale water is removed, but the sand remains, holding the fractures open and allowing gas to travel from the shale out into the well. Bridge plugs are inserted and the fracturing process repeats across the entire length of the well. Once all the fractures are completed, the plugs are removed and gas flows to the surface. The entire drilling process takes about two to three months, but hydraulic fracturing takes only days and can allow for 20 to 40 years of energy production. Combining horizontal drilling and hydraulic fracturing reduces the footprint of drilling and makes it possible to produce oil and natural gas in places where previous technologies could not. <laughs> 